Hi everyone, welcome to the assembly instructions for my newest file called the Nine Patch Shuffle. The um, information, I'll have a quick write-up with the file, some instructions, but I wanted to show you exactly what I meant when I say do the shuffle. Uh, what you see here in front of you is nine pieces of paper, which is what I use. Um, I cut the file out nine times and I kept the papers in the same order and made a stack out of them. See? Um, over here I've got nine of my cheat sheet per se. I've put on the front like a little arrow showing which is the bottom and I also numbered it so you see the nine squares and I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm going to kind of tilt it, but there are little, there are pounce lines. The file includes pounce lines and that's a good cheat way to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. The other thing you're going to want to have cut out are your nine um, frames. Um, and again, what I do to help myself to make sure I don't make any mistakes is at the bottom front I put a little dot. That way I know that it needs to go this way because it's very easy to confuse it and lay it the wrong way. So let's get started on the nine patch shuffle. What we're going to do is basically we're going to leave this pile alone, leave it like as it is, and then this one we're going to shuffle one behind. The next pile, we're going to shuffle two behind. So just simple. Can you guess how many now? That's right. It's going to be three. And what's important with these is to make sure you don't get them out of order because otherwise it's going to just make a mess of things. So the other way you can do is just when you get to the paper that matches where you were, just go one further. Same thing here. Don't jump around, you know, take your time with this. Make sure it's done because this will save you a lot of headaches later. Almost there. Sorry. So there's the same pink. We move up. This is very similar to a technique that you find in quilting. Whoops. Now see, look at that. I left one paper. That would have messed me up, so. This is an easy um, way to do your quilts as well. Okay, so here's this. And now we have one last one to do. And there's the matching one, so we end up with this. So, now if you take a look at what I have in front of me, it's nine completely different papers. Move in a little bit for you to see. All right, now to assemble, this is going to be so fast. Um, let's see how we can do it. I start with um, your adhesive. This is my favorite. That's Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And what I'm going to do is, since I have the cheat lines here, I'm just going to basically run a quick line around all my little squares here. It doesn't have to be super clean or neat. Now, one by one, you're going to take each one of these squares and line them up to your pounce lines that are on your page. Okay? So here we go. First one. And make sure you pull from the top of the card, of the, I mean, the top of the pile here that you've got. Keep track of where you're pulling paper from because you don't want to pull from um, one pile twice. Not that you really could, but okay. And the last piece here. Now, when that fast, look how quick that went. Okay. Now we're going to take this here, the frame. Remember, we have the little dot. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to run um, the glue around here. Keep track of where your dot is. Maybe I should put it this way to remember to just fold over. And I'm going to run my bead of glue oops, around the front edge. And along my interior lines. And this is kind of why it didn't really matter exactly how perfect you laid those papers inside because this is going to hide all of those little bitty inconsistencies. So when you flip it over, you're going to line it up perfectly. 
take your time with this. There you go. And if it's not right, pull it up a little bit and keep going again. Because you have a black background front and back, it kind of will hide it a little bit, but you want to take your time and make sure what you're doing is right. So there you go. That's all done. Okay. And you can use this as a cute little um, accent on a layout page if you want. You're talking about quilting and or friendship. Or you can prepare yourself a 5 by 7 card. And then just take this and place it on top of it. And there you go. You have a really pretty card that you have ready to give to somebody. The nice thing about this file and the way this one works is that um, in little time you can get nine cards made pretty fast. I timed myself cutting this out and it took me about, I'll say, a little bit over an hour to cut all the materials out. But as far as the assembly, you just saw right now how quick and fast that was. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the purchase of the file. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, drop me a line, or check me out at the block. Thank you much. Bye. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you after about two hours work, cutting and assembly, that's all included, I ended up with one card as well as um, eight other little embellishments ready to be put on a card or on a scrapbook layout. It'd be cute on the front of a book of some kind. So thank you again for watching. Oh, Guinness wants to say hi. Hi. And I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.